Hi, I'm April from Skycom Solutions, and in this video, we'll take a closer look at the Lenovo ThinkStation P360 Ultra and compare it with the smaller counterpart, the 360 Tiny. Starting with the Ultra model, it comes in the brand new 4 liter form factor compared to the 1 liter form factor Tiny. However, the larger form means that it's able to handle more powerful components and is better for some more intense workloads. The brand new 4 liter form factor comes with two Thunderbolt ports in the front and one USB A port. The Tiny has one USB C port, not Thunderbolt, and two USB A ports. Having the USB-C Thunderbolt ports on the front of the device are going to give you a little bit more flexibility on which peripherals you're connecting, whereas the Tiny only has the standard USB-C, no Thunderbolt. One of the primary factors you will be looking at when choosing a P-Series ThinkStation is the GPU. Due to the larger form factor, the Ultra can support the NVIDIA RTX line of GPUs up to an A5000, providing 24 gigs. Whereas the Tiny, due to the smaller form factor, can handle up to the NVIDIA T1000. This also brings into conversation the displays. The Tiny is a great option for displaying dashboards as it can support up to six independent displays. The Ultra form factor has now broken that record and can support up to eight. Under the hood, the P360 Ultra packs some serious hardware. Both units use 12th generation processors, anywhere from the i3 to the i9. The Ultra can support processors up to 16 cores, and the Tiny can support up to eight. If you're looking for a Xeon processor, we would be looking at the larger form factors. The Ultra can run up to 128 gigs of RAM, while the Tiny has a maximum of 64 gigs of RAM. In regards to storage, the Ultra supports up to four terabytes of M.2 SSDs, while the Tiny is limited to two terabytes. So what are the main differences between these two machines? For this, you will be looking at the port capability, GPU, processor, and memory. Both the Lenovo ThinkStation P360, Ultra, and Tiny are powerful, capable machines, and the decision between this ultimately comes down to your specific needs and use cases. The Ultra bridges the gap between the Tiny and the small form factor. A benefit to the Tiny is that it's small enough to mount discreetly. A mount for the Ultra is currently in production, but not yet available. Ultimately, the choice between the P360 Ultra and the Tiny will depend on your budget, workspace, and specific needs. But whichever one you choose, you can rest assured that you're getting a top-of-the-line machine that can help you get the job done efficiently and effectively. Thank you for watching. And if you have any further questions, please feel free to leave a comment below.